Is it time to replace the old mailbox? Well, if it is, and like me, you live in a part of the world that gets a significant amount of snow in the winter time, then you may have experienced the midwinter fun of having your mailbox knocked off its post by a snowplow. In this episode of Life Skills, I'm going to show you how I've solved that problem. The mailbox you see here has survived many seasons of snowplow abuse, and I only replaced it because of the rust. While I was at it, I improved the mounting design a little bit and put in a bigger mailbox to accommodate all those packages we seem to order nowadays. What you're going to need is a large gate hinge, a gate closing spring, some screws and lag bolts, and some scraps of lumber, and of course a mailbox. I also stick reflective house numbers on the side of my mailbox. The improvement I made over my previous mailbox design was to build a backer board so that the entire assembly could be put together in my workshop, then lag bolted to my post rather than assembled in place out of the street. These pieces were recycled from an engineering student pumpkin chucker trebuchet contest at my university. I also built a strong frame to support the mailbox and screwed the mailbox to it. If this seems like overkill, remember that a snowplow throws a lot of snow at a high speed at the mailbox as it goes by. Everything is pre-drilled and screwed together with exterior grade deck screws. Next, attach the mailbox bottom frame to the backer board with the gate hinge. This hinge goes on the left side of the mailbox, the side away from the direction the snowplow travels down the street. After the hinge, install the gate closing spring. This will absorb a lot of the force of the flying snow and will also swing the mailbox back so that the mail carrier can reach it and deliver your mail. The design of the backer board allowed me to lag bolt the mailbox assembly to the post without the bolts hitting the back of the mailbox. Also, in my previous flush mounted mailbox design, the snow would get wedged behind the mailbox and keep it from swinging back. This gap behind the mailbox minimized that problem. And there is the finished system installed. Over the past couple decades, my post has gone off plumb, so you can see that this design also allowed me to install a wedge behind the backer board to level the mailbox. Here is a view from the other side. Again, note that the hinge and spring are on the side of the mailbox, away from where the snowplow comes from. 